Welcome back, friends. It is I, your ghoulish host, Jade Sheline. Oh my, don't we have a fun show ahead of us? Today, we're looking at the new wave toys. Replicate. I hope you guys are ready to have some fun. And it's very important to point out that this unit was sent to me for review by New Wave Toys. As usual, they've done a beautiful job with the packaging, and I love this little pic of Arthur at the top of the box. One of the really cool features about this machine is that it actually takes coins. It has a coin collection box and, of course, HDMI out. It also features a faux power cable, and it utilizes their CRT filter technology, which it looks like they've refined quite a bit. We'll talk about that more in a minute. A unique feature of this Replicate is that you have the option to choose from two different games, the marquee title as well as Ghouls and Ghosts, which we'll get into in a minute. So we have our instruction manual, which also includes the faux power cable, a selection of four different joystick colors. Oh, I like the green one. And three bags of coins. I really love the power plugs and hopefully someday they'll give them the white plastic tip with the metal prongs. I love that they included extra coins. Usually they just include, I think four to six, but I think there's about 12 here, maybe more. I was just like, ooh, treasure. And they do work as expected. There is only one functional coin slot, but it works just like on the Coke machine. And if you saw my review of the Coke machine, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but we'll also check it out here. The simple but nostalgic artwork accurately represents the original arcade cabinet as well as pretty much every other aspect of it. The tremendous amount of detail does not ever go unnoticed and the fact that they're still using a USB 3.0 charge port makes me very happy. So once again the screen is using the CRT technology, an updated version which they call 2.0. A lot of people had complained about the CRT technology when it was originally debuted on the Missile Command Replicate. I actually kind of liked it personally, but I will say that it's definitely more refined here and it doesn't stand out quite as much as it did on the Missile Command. However, it doesn't go unnoticed and I do like it. From the bezel art to the plastic bezel down to the screen, the CRT technology just gives the overall appearance of the screen a more realistic look. If you press and hold the one and two player button at the same time, you will get into the options menu where you can adjust things from scan line to audio on attract mode and also select from your other game, which is going to be Ghouls and Ghosts. As far as I'm aware up to this point, this is the first cabinet that you can select from two separate games on. The nice thing is that it boots into Ghosts and Goblins, just like the arcade would boot up, but you can easily get into the menu and switch the ROM over to Ghouls and Ghosts. Having Ghouls and Ghosts on here as a selectable game comes from the fact that they actually produced two separate versions of this cabinet, the other being a Ghouls and Ghosts cabinet. Now, of course, if you go to their website, I'm pretty sure all versions of these are sold out at the moment. The coin slot works great, and as you can see, only the player one has a functional slot. Let's check out some gameplay here. Now, when I was a kid, I used to play the NES version of this and then Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I did play both of these at the arcade, but not nearly as much as I did the NES and SNES version of these games. But these old Capcom games are absolutely gorgeous. And as usual, the emulation on these is perfecto. Of course, the sound comes through nice and crisp, but don't turn the volume up too loud because you might hurt your ears, it's that good. Now, along with the functioning coin slot, they also included a faux power cable, and this is just another fine detail that makes each cabinet better than the last. And I really hope they continue to improve on the design and detail of the faux power cord. The coin door is beautiful, and you also have a coin collection box, which is another really cool feature and makes retrieval of your quarters nice and easy. Mm -hmm. 
This is a fantastic little cab and does not leave much to want. One thing I think that would be cool is for future releases, if they ever do a cab like this, where there's two separate versions of the cab, possibly offer the marquee for the other game. That's just my opinion, but I think it would be really cool to have a swappable marquee, especially in a cabinet like this, where there's two separate games that are along the same bloodline. Now, don't go anywhere yet. We're gonna check out the HDMI functionality right now. The scan line option is absolutely incredible. If you're running this on your TV, it really makes the game look right. Now, of course, you have all these standard adjustable options for this cabinet as it would be on the actual coin op. And just a quick reminder to get into this menu, you hold the one and two player start button down together. And again, to get into your game selection, you just go all the way up to the top, select that, and then pick which game you would like to play. So let's just take a quick look and see how Ghouls and Ghosts looks on the big screen TV with scan lines. Man, poor Arthur, he's uh, really been through a lot in this one. I mean, it's not every day that Lucifer sucks the soul out of the girl you love. I love these sound effects, by the way. Let me know what you guys think about the marquee idea down in the comments. I really feel like they've done everything right on this cab. From the artwork, to the color of the cab, to the cab itself, to the functional coin door, and even the faux power cord. Every time I get one of these, there's some slight improvement. And it's always something that really adds to the nostalgic value and and a more perfected replication of what many of us remember playing in the arcades. Shout out and big thank yous to New Wave Toys for sending me this review unit. Well, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for a little something extra afterwards. This is unit THX-1138. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. Looks like a serious fire hazard, though. You sure you want to send this girl a review unit? Magnetic fields are stable. Send package when ready. Impressive. It almost looks like you could have fun here. Our ancestors in 2023 have no idea how good they had it. These things are pretty Nova. You don't think she would mind if I played on these for a little bit? 1138, friendly reminder from the boss. Don't get too carried away. Sure thing. Just pull me back through when she gets here.